Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. Today I'm gonna show you how you can do your own Harry Potter house scarf. So for all the fans out there, I thought I would do this since I'm a fan as well. Anyway, I have your Gryffindor in yellow and red or golden and red, and then I have your Slytherin in silver and green, and Ravenclaw here is in blue and silver. I couldn't find any bronze wool, so this is gonna do. Not a bad alternative. So I think it still looks good um, in the combination with this nice blue. And Hufflepuff, here we have the emblem, so this is my favorite. And um, yeah, I'm gonna do that really soon as well. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do the Gryffindor scarf. And I used a pretty cheap wool type on purpose. So um, I just got it out of the supermarket to show everyone that it doesn't have to be an expensive garn for it to look awesome. So it's thin and I used three threads at the same time while doing this. And three times three millimeters is nine millimeters, which is my needle, so it goes super quickly. So awesome for beginners and I'll show you how you can do this cool effect at the end with the fringes. And I will show you how to stick your emblem onto the scarf as well. So let's get started right away. As I mentioned a moment ago, the day I'm going to show you um, out of these four houses, I'm going to show you how you can do the Gryffindor scarf. So here is my wool. I found this at the supermarket in yellow and red or golden and red. So this is acrylic and it was on sale, so I got it pretty cheaply. And these are 50 grams um, each, so each spool. And I got three spools, so we have here 150 meters and here 185, so other than that, um, we have 3.5 to 4 millimeters here, so pretty tiny font, um, it's kind of difficult to read. And here we have 3.5 to 3, oh, 3 to 3.5, so not a big difference. I will be doing these simultaneously with my 9 millimeter needle, so we're gonna get results pretty quickly. So let's get the middle out of all spools. We are ready to begin. I'll move this out of the way. So all three are parallel in my hand, so let's get into position. Through with the needle and pull. Now we can start with some chains, so let's do as many as we need for our scarf width. The number doesn't make a difference. So here are 20 and I like my width now, so let's take 3 more chains for the height. So leave those out and go into the 4th chain from the back. Here we are, our regular treble. If you're not familiar with it, just follow me, it's really easy to do. Here we are again, so three for the height, I did trebles in all the chains. Now turn and do the same.
Here I am at the end of the second row. Now we are changing again. So three chains for the height and turn the whole thing around and keep doing treble. It's a really cool pattern for beginners, as you can see. Here are our first eight rows. You can see them very clearly. And now I will cut the wool. And now we can continue with the gold and yellow. So just put your needle through the last two loops you had and just change to the yellow. If you haven't done this before, I will show you how you can do it. So three for the height and then we do the same thing. Again, eight rows in yellow. And always start with chains. Here we have eight sections we did, eight rows each section. So we started with red and we kept changing to yellow and back to red. So it's always red, yellow, red, yellow. So we have four sections in yellow and four in red. And here is the last color change. And here I already cut the thread off and I'll put it, pull it out now. Now it's nice and secure. This needle is great, a great tool to weave in, so I will show you how you can do it, but it works um, without the needle as well. Now cut it off and this way it won't fall apart. So I will do that for all of our color changes that we have. So all these little leftover bits um, that you see dangling from the sides, so all over the place. And we will do some fringes in the end. So this is optional, you don't have to do it, but if you want to, um, we will cut these threads into equal pieces and I will go around um, this box with my wool to get that. And now hold the one side and cut the other. Mm -hmm. 
So this is all we need. Let's start on the one side. So I will keep changing one red and one yellow. So take a couple, so let's see, that's seven, but let's do eight again. Hold tight and that's it. So you can do this in other ways, but I find this one easy and practical. So I will do each second chain or treble, so I want the yellow ones in between, so each second one is going to be red. So let's add the yellow ones too. And our branches are done, so let's do the Gryffindor emblem. So I will do this with a regular thread, so no wool this time, and onto this red section. So let's just go through with our needle. And that's it. So I did a couple of stitches here, but you can see that there's nothing on the other side, which is awesome. So I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you think. Let me know which house is your favorite. So maybe you like Hufflepuff or Slytherin, um, or maybe Gryffindor itself. Let me know if you maybe have a scarf already, or if you made it yourself. And yeah, thanks for watching DIY Ideas. I hope you had fun. If you did, feel free to shoot a thumbs up. And you can also subscribe to our channel. That way you'll never miss any new videos that we post. And you can stay updated with our videos we already posted. And that's all for free. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Have a great day. Bye!